Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit the subscribe button down below. Let's get right to it. First off, th first things first, I wanted to say, hey, um, I'm going to be starting a Patreon for this channel here in the near future. I'll start putting the links down below very soon. It's going to be a few tiers uh, just to try and, you know, just to try and keep this show going. Uh, I'm not really going to ask for much, maybe a dollar a subscriber kind of thing, you know, for the people that, you know, join the Patreon. Um, if that takes off at some point, I will add extra things to where you can get bonus material and things like that from here at the Big Ranch Show. But first, I want to get off to some, some of the news of the day. There's two things that I think are really important. I'm going to give you an update on the Kareem Hunt situation, the running back from the Kansas City Chiefs who was released after a video of domestic violence um, was released by TMZ. And I want to give you a little story over Neil deGrasse Tyson, one of my favorite people um, in the science world to talk to, you know, to watch and watch him talk and hear things he has to say and read what he has to write. But first off, the update on Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt was on ESPN this morning and did an interview where he says this is not him. He was raised better than that. His mom didn't raise him like that. But the man still beat a woman. I don't care his excuse. I don't care why. That's all he's making. He tries to act like he's not making excuses, but... When you throw out lines like, oh, well, it was a long day, I didn't know her, it was blah, blah, blah. You physically attacked a woman. At least though he's admitting that his he admits that he made a mistake, that he shouldn't have done it. At least he's admitting that much. Hopefully, he will learn from this and this won't happen again. But you never know with these people. He says it's him. He's never done something like that before. But isn't that what, what all abusers say when they're, when they're found out? Oh, it's a one-time thing. I've never done it before. Now, maybe he's telling the truth. But the cynic in me says he's not. The cynic in me says he's lying. I hope he is telling the truth. I hope he won't be doing, he hasn't done this before and won't be doing it at, and hasn't done it since. But to escalate an, a verbal argument with a woman to the point that you're shoving them and kicking them is ridiculous. It's not something a man does. You want to call yourself a man? Yeah, yeah, that's not what you do. It doesn't matter what that woman was doing. It doesn't matter if she was screaming at you, pointing her fingers in your face. I don't give a damn what happened in that room. I don't care. The video shows that she made no physical movement towards you or gestures isn't for physical violence towards you until you laid your hands on her. Like you said, though, you should have de-escalated the situation. You should have manned up and said, no, this isn't how it's going to go down. And now your team is without you. Because they had no choice but to fire you. It's so sad to see somebody like Kareem Hunt, who's worked his, worked his ass off all this time, to try to get where he is, just to throw it all away. He did apologize, though, to the woman. He says he has no clue who she is, has no connection with her, no contact with her, didn't even know who she was, or never even met her before the day of that incident. So hopefully for his sake, it's all it's, it gets all settled. And for the NFL's sake, I hope they at least hit him with some, you know, strong suspension. Because they've got to start looking like, they actually got to start showing that they actually give a damn. They freaked out over people taking knees during, during the anthem. 
but they're not doing a damn thing about how their employees interact with the opposite sex. They've continued to do nothing. Ezekiel Elliott of the Dallas Cowboys was found to have not done anything wrong by police. And he took a six-game suspension. Even though there was evidence to show that he possibly may not have done anything wrong. Here, it's perfectly clear that Kareem Hunt did something wrong. That Kareem Hunt did something he was not supposed to do. And that was lay his hands on a woman. Anyhow, on to the next story. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson is one of my favorite scientists. One of the favorite people to watch him talk about science. Him and him and Bill Nye are two of my favorite people. But unfortunately, I have to bring you a story about Neil deGrasse Tyson that I don't want to bring you. That I wanted to never have to bring you. But he is now under investigation for sexual misconduct over his show Cosmos. Or the show he was he hosted on, on Fox called Cosmos. Two women have claimed sexual misconduct. We will see if any others come out. He has completely denied it and says it did not happen. Of course, there again, every time something like this happens, the men tend to say it didn't happen. So I guess we'll have to see what, what evidence there is and what comes up. But it's really sad to see because I, Neil deGrasse Tyson is a man that I had a lot of respect for. I have a lot of respect for in, you know, in the world of science because someone's got to teach me something. But to know that he possibly did this, this, is, this isn't good, folks. Now, from what I've read of, of the claims, I haven't been, been able to see what the, what the women's names were. Um, but one claimed that he uh, inappropriately groped her. At an event that they were holding, that they were hosting while he was the host of that show. And another woman said she quit her job um, working with him as his assistant on the show because of constant, um, you know, sexual innuendo and, you know, sexual advances. Now, I understand the groping one. If the other one, I don't know what they mean by sexual advances. Was he touching them, touching their woman? What was he doing? Those are that's information that we need to have found. We need to have brought to light. We need to find out if any of this actually happened. And I hope it didn't. But if it did, what what you know? What do we do then? I hate to see somebody lose everything they've worked for. But if there's some if they've done something like this, I don't know what to tell them. I think it's wrong. It's disgusting. If a woman has not asked you to touch them, you do not touch them. Period. It's that simple. You know, if you're in a relationship, you're married, maybe there's a little different, you know, you know different story there. But when you're not in a relationship with somebody, you're not married to them, you don't have their permission to touch them randomly, you don't have your permission to put your hands on them, you don't do it. I don't care who you are. I mean, I understand. As a guy, you see a, uh, an attractive woman. You're like, ooh. You got to keep your hands to yourself, folks. Maybe it was something I was taught growing up. I, I don't know. But some of you people out there don't, don't seem to get it. You don't touch people who do, who have not asked you to touch them. It's that simple. I don't understand why this keeps happening, why these stories keep coming up, but clearly men have thought that they have the right to women's bodies, period. Now, Neil deGrasse Tyson, like I said, you've got to wait to see what actually happens, what the investigation shows. Um, but, you know, Fox has been under fire, you know, especially the Fox News part of Fox has been under fire for sexual assault and sexual abuse claims and things like that. So I'm pretty sure that they are going to do a thorough investigation into what happened. 
and I, I'm, I'm if it happened to these women, I'm sorry to them that it happened. If Neil deGrasse Tyson turns out that he is a pervert, then it is what it is. But it's sad to see one of my, again, one of my favorite people go down like this. You know, that they they may have done this. Now, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if he did it or not. But we got to let the investigation over at Fox finish out, and then we'll go from there. Anyhow, this has been the Big Ranch Show. I've been your host, Jacob Keck. I'll see you down the road.